Gold price suppression is the biggest issue in the world, it involves the valuation of all capital, labor, goods and services in the world and these valuations are being set in a really imperialistic and totalitarian way and not in an open and transparent way and we think this is evil. Gold market manipulation also called gold price manipulation or suppression, can be defined generally as a deliberate attempt to control the gold prices. This type of manipulation exists in financial markets as traders try to control the markets, in the current case, the gold market. It might be responsible for some short-term aberrations in asset prices, including the price of gold. Nonetheless, there is another, more particular definition. According to the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, Manipulation is a deliberate behavior designed to deceive investors by controlling or artificially influencing the market for a security. This consists of, rigging quotes, prices, or trades to create a false or deceptive picture of the demand for a security. A popular belief within the gold investing community is that gold prices are manipulated, broadly downwards, in what is described as price oppression. The CME Group, which operates the major futures exchanges in the U.S., has recently renewed what it calls its Central Bank Incentive Program, which gives enormous volume trading discounts to governments and central banks for surreptitiously trading all the futures markets. The CME Group has created mechanisms for secret trading by governments to get discounts while trading gold and silver futures in the U.S. right now. The central banks and their minion banks, who very well may be the owners of the central banks, are the market makers. Deutsche Bank finally admitted in a court of law that the price of silver had been rigged. The significance of this development cannot be overstated because it implies that the gold price has also been manipulated. Deutsche Bank is openly admitting to participating in these market fixes. Welcome to the Atlantis Report. The manipulation is not just a way for the banks to make money. It is a massive conspiracy to keep the metal's price down and hide the rising price, which is a sign of a failing currency, while also discouraging people from trying to protect themselves with gold and silver. Inflation is a massive wealth transfer from the people to the central banks and the one percenters. It is created by money printing, and the process is managed by the Fed. It is a massive conspiracy of massive theft from the people and allowed by the governments. There's manipulation. But it's not only a downward manipulation. It's a game of shorts and longs. And yeah, the ultimate long-run manipulation is fiat money. But this isn't a long-run manipulation that serves us poorly. The low price of metals against debt and their resistance to inflation helps the smarter savers to avoid inflation on savings. Savers should be thanking the world for its stupidity. Many gold investors believe that the market for gold is systematically manipulated. There are many variations of this theory, some say that precious metals are under the thumb of central bankers, while others blame big banks and their use of derivatives, naked, shorts, and high-frequency trading for the declines in the price of gold. There are also worries about the discrepancy between paper gold and physical gold, the fairness of London trading, declining inventories at COMEX, and leasing of gold by central banks. At first glance, this theory makes sense, especially that the price of gold was fixed for decades by governments or suppressed under the London Gold Pool, while a few financial institutions have already been fined for influencing or manipulating gold prices. It is a very emotive subject where many common people feel outraged. Those who perpetrate these frauds rarely face prosecution, and no one ever goes to prison. No matter how good their legal teams are, someone should be incarcerated for a very long time. These crimes are against the state and the very people of the land. No one, no one should be immune. The buck should start at the top and include all those involved. They can share their time together with no parole. With this example, only then will the standard be set that only the foolish would transgress. A strong arm to break their fraudulent endeavors. There is a tremendous amount of paper gold in the market. This is the main problem, as this creates opportunities for short sellers preventing prices from moving to the upside. During the trading of gold futures, or paper gold, there's a huge gap between when they're supposed to reconcile these trades and when they actually do, and in that gap, there's a lot of abuse, and that abuse comes with banging the price of gold down in ways that do not reflect the genuine price discover between buyers and sellers. When tracked against the historical U.S. debt accumulation, gold should be trading around $2,900 an ounce today if no market manipulation were to occur. Gold's true value potential is being held back by market abuse, which is why the metal is trading at relatively depressed prices. 
The people holding down the gold price are enabling China, Russia, and India, etc. to buy it cheaply in bulk. The consequences for the dollar could be disastrous. Putin knows this. The Fed, US Treasury, Bank of England, Bullion Banks all in coordination with the BIS are allowed to do this the keep confidence in a failing fiat system. Can it ever be broken? Perhaps Russia and China can do it. Why they buy treasuries is beyond me. Russia stopped and is now building massive gold reserves. No wonder every US politician hates them. The gravy train may end, and they know it. They are keeping gold depressed by paper, which is no secret, but what they are waiting for is to keep the price low when they are adopted into the SDR with crypto and gold, then the price will be adjusted immediately. With the Department of Justice labeling JP Morgan a criminal enterprise while charging it with the RICO Act, many who suffered losses in the gold and silver markets due to the bank's illegal activity are wondering if there are options too for compensation. A good gold mine is a billion-dollar operation. Banks, especially the European ones, are multi-billion dollar operations. You are looking at a small market easily manipulated by big institutions. There is a reason these metals are precious. They are rare, and that is a small market by definition. Think it can't happen? How do you suppose the bubble of 1929 was created? Big banks, small country. The fiat system relies on control of the precious metal market. The futures market is a casino. There is no real price discovery. Own gold. Own silver. Do not speculate. The London futures market cannot deliver more than $1 in gold per $100. The whole idea is buying a commodity. Occasionally someone insists on delivery. The process is beyond absurd. Of all the ways to buy gold, this has got to be the worst, but this is what determines the price. It's not only gold and silver that's been manipulated it's also platinum and palladium which are some newer precious metals past civilizations were not advanced enough to value, but because they are more modern, it's even more difficult to gauge what their true value should be or would be in a post-reset world. I've also heard some of the banks are sitting on 1 billion ounce of silver and that's more than what gets mined in one year, so it's easy for them to move markets with that kind of sheer volume of metal and hence easier to manipulate. Just take advantage of the dirt cheap prices. The only guys that should be complaining are Sprott, David Morgan, and the guys who hold huge positions. For the rest of us, it buys us more time to stack cheaply. I've been picking up ridiculous bargains, and on top of that, not even my brokers know what they are doing in this distorted market. Soon paper gold manipulation will end. They are keeping gold down, so it's more affordable for the banks. Remember when Trump sent Steve Mnuchin to verify physical gold? Also, President Trump addressed the FBI and DOJ to investigate paper gold manipulation at JP Morgan and the COMEX. Do you see it yet? Okay, then how about President Trump hires Judy the most informed person in the world when it comes to a gold-backed currency? One more thing is President Trump said he would infuse one trillion of real money into the hands of the people. Gold. Gold and silver manipulation, it's been going on for 80 years. The oligarchs really went nuts back in the late 70s when computers could help them control. 2008 sealed the deal when banks could naked short contracts with infinite fiat. As long as the current system exists, silver and gold will do no better than approximately 2% a year. Why 2%? That is, the desired inflation rate target the Fed mandates. We all know inflation is way higher than that. The manipulation is allowing you to buy physical gold at a bargain price. Do not fight manipulation, embrace it. Precious metals prices are a gift to those who are awake. This was the Atlantis Report. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.